What up, what up? All right, so let me start by introducing myself. My name is Stephen Michael O'Connor, and I'm a Los Angeles-based artist. More specifically, I'm a painter. I'm originally from Northern Delaware, but currently I live and work in LA, and I've been painting full-time for approaching four years now. So in this economy, it's definitely something I'm pretty proud of, you know? Selling my paintings is how I pay the rent. It's my sole source of income, how I get my grind on. So this time-lapse video is a good example of not only the commission process, but what my daily routine kind of consists of. Um, most of my paintings tend to be pretty complicated, often really time-consuming. So I put this little time-lapse video together to provide the viewers and my clients a quick glimpse into my work and my process. So I ended up taking about 3,000 photographs total of this piece, which is titled Reduce Everything. The painting itself is from my protein series, which really originated from a collage I made, I don't know, almost about a decade ago. And at the time, I was pretty fascinated by juxtapositioning. You know, the relationships different images can kind of take on by being next to each other. So I started cutting out all of these different pics of graffiti pieces, you know, things from throw-ups to murals, and then putting them alongside these microscopic images of viruses and proteins, enzymes, even things like dust mites. And to the untrained eye, E. coli might end up looking very similar to an early bubble letter piece. They definitely shared a lot visually, and I started to see these really cool relationships start to emerge from the collages. And uh, the average person tends to be pretty uninformed about graffiti art, so they kind of see it as a virus or this gang-related scourge or whatever. But, you know, the fact is there's some real positivity emerging from it. And not only is it kind of bringing art and self-expression to these otherwise bleak or often ignored areas like an underpass or something, but in my opinion, when it's done correctly, it provides a great creative outlet for young emerging artists. So... The viruses themselves obviously are an integral part to the cycle of life, but both are constantly being destroyed. You know, you have city workers going around painting over great pieces and doctors who understandably work around the clock to eradicate these deadly viruses. But as you can tell, there's a lot to it. And, you know, under microscopes, these proteins and viruses are actually really beautiful visually. So. That outlines some of these early collages that I made ended up being the inspiration for these protein series paintings. So this particular commission materialized after meeting this guy, Brian Wilson, at the Beverly Hills Art Show in May. And he was super cool, and actually the following week, he drove up from San Diego with his close friend and a very talented interior decorator, Corinne Clark. And actually they stopped in my studio for a visit they both really were drawn to an earlier version of the protein series painting that I made, but it wasn't big enough. So really they needed something a little bit bigger that could fill up this long concrete wall in Brian's place. So they picked out a four foot by four foot size and I just kind of customized the sketch for the piece to be less organic. And actually the whole process ended up being super painless. You know, I don't make prints or reproductions of my paintings. Everything is always original. So when a client orders a piece based on a previous painting, my goal is obviously to really improve on it and give it a unique voice of its own. Um, doing it in blue was their idea, but I was totally on board for it. Um, his place needed some color. And with its proximity to the ocean and Brian's love of surfing, I thought it was an easy pick. Um, overall, the process was super smooth. It couldn't have been easier. He couldn't have been a cooler client and uh, just kind of let me do my thing and I was really happy with how it ended up turning out. So. For more information about my artwork, you can check out my website at stephenmichaelo'connor.com. The instrumental you're hearing is by Al D from his Vitamin D mixtape, which is definitely the biz, so get your Google on there. If you're in Los Angeles this summer and you want to check out some of my artwork, I'm currently showing in a group exhibition at the Norbert Ellen Gallery. That's downtown Los Angeles. And I'm on display at Art Space Warehouse, that's West Hollywood, Beverly Hills area. So swing through there, um, scoop up some paintings, show some love. Cool, cool. So thanks again to everyone for all of your unwavering support. You know, I sincerely appreciate you checking out this little video. Definitely appreciate it. You know, feel free to share the video, email it, post it, do whatever you got to do with it. Um, you know, thanks again. I hope you enjoyed. Peace. S to the you know good talk <laughs>